We have documented coercive practices around Bangladesh authorities relocating Rohingya refugees from the mainland to the island. The situation has evolved over time, uh, but it's still problematic for a number of reasons. For example, there's no formal appeal process if a person on Boston Char wants to leave the island once they arrive. And this, of course, makes their stay on Boston Char not voluntary. It also makes Rohingya feel like they're effectively detained on the island with no ability to go back formally with the with the permission from the authorities. So there is the ability for uh, Rohingya on Boston Char to go and visit the mainland camp. This was a change, a welcomed change that came some time ago. Generally, they can visit for two to three weeks, but approvals take time. Uh, some Rohingya that we've spoken with have attempting to get approval to go back to the mainland camps to visit with their families and with their communities. And they've been waiting for, for months and months on end for that approval. It's also worth mentioning that this is not freedom of movement.